In this video, we derive equation for pressure variation in a fluid at rest. Means, we derive what is the change in pressure when the fluid is in rest. Means, fluid have no any velocity. For that, we need to understand the hydrostatic law. The pressure at any point in a fluid at rest is obtained by the hydrostatic law. Now, what is hydrostatic law? Hydrostatic law which stated that rate of increase of pressure in vertically downward direction must be equal to the specific weight density of fluid at that point. Now, this is the liquid in a rest. This is the free surface of the liquid. From the free surface of the liquid, we consider this is a fluid points. And the fluid points have a dimension A, B, C, D. And this fluid point is present from the certain height from a free surface of the liquid that is called as the Z. So consider the small fluid element as shown in a figure. Fluid element is the A, B, C, D. Let delta A is the cross sectional area of the element. Cross sectional area means from the top view when we see it have certain area and this area is called as the delta A. So here P into delta A is the force acting on a surface AB. So this is the force is the pressure into area. So pressure is P into delta A. Delta Z is the height of the fluid element. So height of the fluid element means B to C or A to D is called as the height of the fluid element and it is the delta Z. P is the pressure on phase AB. On this AB phase, the pressure is acting and this pressure is denoted by this P. Another is the Z, distance of fluid element from free surface. This is the free surface. This is our elements. So distance between the free surface and element is the Z. The force acting on the element charge. So on these fluid elements, various four type of the forces is acting. First, pressure force on the phase AB means on this phase AB, certain force is acting due to the pressure. So force is pressure into area. So here we mention on the phase AB, the pressure acting is the P. And area is the delta A. So pressure force on the phase AB is P into delta A and acting perpendicular to the phase AB in the downward direction. Here we see this force is acting in a downward direction. Second, pressure force on the CD. So pressure force on this CD. So when we moving in downward directions, the value of pressure is certain increase. So on a AB pressure P is acting. And on the CD, what is the value of pressure? So it is P plus partial differential of pressure with respect to Z into delta Z and into area. So this is the pressure. Pressure into area that is the delta A. Acting perpendicular to phase CD in a vertically upward direction. So on the AB, it is in downward direction. Here it is working in a upward direction. Third one is the weight of the fluid elements. So due to this weight of the fluid elements, it's try to go in this downward direction. So weight is the density into G into volume. Density is denoted by the rho. G is the gravitational force. Now what is the volume of fluid elements? That is the height into area. Area is the delta A and the height of this element is delta Z. So delta A into delta Z is the volume. Fourth is the pressure force on the surface BC. This is the surface BC and this is the surface AD. So on this both the surface, the pressure are equal and opposites. So it is have no equation because in this value they are subtracting and we get this zero force. Now we need to equate these all the forces. Now before moving ahead, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics and other subject of mechanical engineering. For fluid mechanics and hydraulic machine subject, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist. For equilibrium of fluid elements, so when this fluid element is in equilibrium, when these all the forces acting is equal to the value 0. 
so first force acting on this a b that is a p into delta a it is downward and we consider it is a plus second force that is a pressure force on the c d it is upward direction so here we mention the minus signs and its value is the p plus partial differential of pressure with respect to z into delta z bracket over delta a third is due to the weight so due to the weight it is also acting in downward direction so for the downward here we consider plus so it is rho into g into volume that is delta a into delta z is equal to zero now we open this bracket so when we open this bracket p into delta a and here the minus sign when we open this bracket here minus sign is coming so this equation into delta a other thing is as it is now this p into delta a, here it is plus here it is minus so they are the cancel and the remaining equation is written as it is then after this weight element is supplied on the right side so when it is supplied in the right side it's from the plus it is converted into minus sign and here also minus sign is there the minus minus sign is cancel now from this equation delta z into delta a is available on the both side so we can cancel these parameters so remaining equation is the partial differential of pressure with respect to z is equal to rho into g now what is rho into g rho into g is the weight density of fluids so here we derive our hydrostatic law that is a change in pressure with respect to the certain height is equal to the weight density of the fluid so here we derive the hydrostatic law so above equation state that rate of increase of pressure in vertically downward direction must be equal to the weight density of the fluid at a point means for this point the increase of pressure in vertically downward direction that is means partial equation partial differential of pressure with respect to z and is equal to the weight density of the fluid weight density is the rho into g so this is known as the hydrostatic law now when we do the integration of the above equation number 1 so first we supply this z on the right side then after we do the integration and after the integration what we get we get this equation that is a p is equal to rho into g into z means when this z is increase the value of pressure is increase okay so rho of the fluid is not change g is not change it is 9.81 means when the z is increase the pressure is increase when this z is the increase the pressure is the increase so when we go in this bottom the value of pressure is increase so p is the pressure above atmospheric pressure and z is the height of the point from the free surface so from this equation 2 we have also written this z is equal to pressure divided by weight density weight density means rho into g so here z is called as the pressure head so z is called as the pressure head so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends